obviously the last drive was a thing of beauty and let's break down this 13 play game winning drive from the kansas city chief of the 13 plays they ran on this drive nine of them came out of some form of bunch formation i can't wait to break this down take a look behind the scenes of what some of the play calling process may have looked like what they did formationally and schematically to take advantage of the 49ers. All right, so first drive of the game, like I said earlier, they were in a bunch formation, nine out of the, th the first 13 plays of this game. So pretty incredible um, that they were in it this much. They motion out a bunch, but again, what you see from a defensive perspective is the nickel right here is going to align to the bunch formation, obviously. And so when they motion out of this, not a not a big deal for the offense, but a big deal for the defense because they've set the strength. And what they're going to do is they're going to run a variation of power back to the boundary over here. So let's get back. Let's get to the tight copy. What you see is the typical way you would run a power concept would be to have your tight end block out on the defensive end. You'd work a double team to the backside. You'd block back on the two eye. You'd hinge to protect the backside here. The guard would pull for the front side linebacker. Because the San Francisco 49ers are in a little bit of a wider alignment here with the defensive end aligning outside the tight end and kind of a nine technique, a wide nine, what they're going to do, the Chiefs are actually going to take Kelsey to the front side linebacker. And instead of, so Kelsey to the front side linebacker, instead of wrapping the guard, they're going to pull and kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage. And so what it ends up looking like here is, again, Kelsey directly to the linebacker. They work the kick out. Again, you get that double team that's still looking to work to the backside linebacker, kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage, and Pacheco's able to get downhill on this play. Uh Really good job kind of anchoring in the double team. I think that's Javon Hargrave maybe. Um, I'm not as well-versed in the defensive guys for the Niners, but good back block by Creed Humphrey, and it makes it tough for this guard to get to the backside linebacker here. You'd think maybe Pacheco could work his way here, um, but it's, again, this is a tough a tough concept. Get downhill, get yards. Again, you want to start that drive off on the on the right foot. So next play, yeah, this is a, kind of another look at it. Again, pretty simple. We call this power swap. Boom, boom to the backside, block back, hinge, B to C, and kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage. So normally, again, you'd have the tight end out here and the guard wrapping for the backer. They choose to do it a little bit differently. And uh, I kind of like the way it works out. But again, motion out of bunch into a power concept. Pacheco gets downhill. Good start to the drive. So second and seven, again, three-yard gain. It's not super significant, but it does matter, right? All those, all those little bits of yardage add up. So again, start in bunch up here. This is the second time we're in bunch out of this drive so far. Two plays, two plays in bunch. Motion across the formation. Rasheed Rice is uh, motioning across the formation. And they're going to run a... Uh, switch cross uh, switch cross concept. So what you're going to see here is Rasheed Rice is working all the way out here. What they're going to do is they're going to have a switch release to a cross over here from uh, Justin or Watson, blanket on his first name here. So then spray release to the backside basic or dig. And then Kelsey's going to work the front side corner because, again, you're getting a, basically a too high look here. And what Rasheed Rice is going to work to is, I believe, an inside-out return route, whip route. Um, and then Pacheco is going to check and release into the flat. So it's not its not exactly Y cross. There's like a little bit of dagger smash um, look to this. But I, I would put it in the Y cross family. You get the switch release um, from, from the receiver here. Um, you see how it kind of sorts itself out. Switch release on the backside. Rasheed Rice running the whip route. Kelsey on the corner is going to hold those two uh the corner and the safety rice is open underneath pitch and catch boom um we're in pretty good shape so that's second and seven good easy completion and what we're going to do in the next play of the drive so we went from bunch to run power bunch we motion out of it to run essentially like a switch right y cross concept you get in third and one you tempo to it and they're going to run like kind of a variation of what some coaches would call it duo. Some coaches would call it inside zone. Essentially, what you're going to get here is a double team on the two-eye, a double team on the three technique, 
and Kelsey's going to be responsible to hold off the end man on the line of scrimmage, so Bosa, okay? Now, normally, the way you would sort this out, if you're going to run some sort of duo concept, is they would work the front side double team to, I guess it would be the Sam or the Nickel. They would work the backside double team to the Mike. Um, but what ends up happening is, I mean, I think they ID Fred Warner as the Mike. Again, they're going tempo, they're going fast. Um, the left tackle is going to work out to the defensive end. So you got two double teams you're working here. What I think ends up happening is they work this double team to the will and they work this double team to the mic. Okay. So boom, they're going here. They're going here. What ends up happening is Logan Ryan, the, the nickel is going to come into that C gap and Kelsey does a pretty good job of seeing it. Even though he's responsible for Bosa, he ends up picking up the C gap. So it could be like capped inside zone or something like that. And I think that's kind of where the play breaks down a little bit. They get the two double teams. They work to the Mike backer. Kelsey scoots inside to Logan Ryan, the nickel, the nickel Sam. They break the double team here. Again, a nice job by the defensive, uh, a nice job by the nose and the two eye to break the double team. Logan Ryan comes in underneath Kelsey and he's able, they're able to get not a tackle for loss. I think it's a no gain here. But this is this is tough, right? You you got to get your rules right. You got to. I'm sure they were pointing the mic here and trying to figure out um, who's going where. And unfortunately, Kelsey kind of gets gets run past on on the run play. So you end up in fourth and one. This is you know the probably the most pivotal pivotal play of the entire game, right? Um, up until this point, you got a bunch formation. What they're going to do is they're going to motion Kelsey over to get kind of your man zone indicator. Kelsey motions over, and then all they're going to do is they're going to run essentially a boot concept or you know a naked concept so what they're going to do is with Kelsey motioned over they're going to run a front side double stick just get past the sticks turn around look for something they're going to play action this way so you got the offensive line is blocking you know whether it's wide zone outside zone the tight end's going to work the outside zone into the over or the cross route and Kelsey's going to run the slide into the flat here and so basically what they're doing is they're going to leave Bosa unblocked, uh, which, you know, that's a, that's a big decision to make here. But he's been bending hard off the edge all game long. You think, you know, maybe we can get away with it. So boot, naked. What Mahomes is going to do is he's immediately going to look at Kelsey in the flat. Logan Ryan jumps it. And what he's saying to himself here is like, I'm just going get, to get to the sticks, man. Get get the first down. But I love that they gave him kind of a an option to run or pass in the flat. Uh, get your best athlete the ball in space so again I I really like the setup here it's a great call on fourth down the slide route pass now what a lot of people have said is you know why didn't Bosa blow up the the slide route from Kelsey well I mean there's there's a decent chance right that Bosa's thinking he's coming for a split zone and they're just trying to get downhill so Bosa's going to try and win across his face make the tackle for loss and end the football game right there Uh, but they do a really good job running the naked Mahomes pulls the football. Now, a lot of times what you're going to see from the defense here is if Bosa were to bend hard off the edge, then the linebacker would be responsible for a scrape exchange. That's kind of like your typical zone read rules for a defense. But Fred Warner is worried enough about Mahomes throwing the football that he's actually going to work back, right? He's going to work back to try and gobble up this, this stick route. They're kind of passing things off. Kelsey goes in the flat. They obviously jump Kelsey. And then then you're kind of left with nobody to play the quarterback. So again, it's it's one of the challenges, I think, of, of playing a mobile quarterback like Mahomes in this type of environment is that he can get outside the pocket and it almost turns into like a triple option. I know it's technically not triple option. I don't think he's reading Bosa at all. This looks like pure naked to me. But he's able to get on the edge, convert the first down. Huge play in the game, right? So... You go, you convert a fourth down, you got first and 10 on your 42. What do you know? What are we in again? We've been talking about it all video long, right? We get that bunch formation to the field. And, you know, this is, this is, I think it's a great strategy from Reed and company, right? We're going to get in bunch formations. We're going to force them to set the strength. And then we're going to motion back to two by two and get into kind of some more typical stuff. So Valdez Scantling comes in motion here. This is a pretty cool concept that they get to. What they're going to run is essentially a smash concept out here, but it, from a cut split alignment, you've got an out and up, which is a pretty cool way to run smash. He's going to come in motion and kind of sit down 
the hitch. So you almost have a follow route. And if you get a too high structure, you can kind of see the safety over here off the screen. He's going to push off the hash. He's going to be the flat player technically, right? And so if you get an out and up, he's probably going to try and sink under the, the out. And then the up obviously bites the safety. And then what they're going to do is they're going to work Kelsey across the formation. So essentially what they're doing is they're picking on the will linebacker a little bit. They're saying, can he, is he going to be quick to match um, more vertically? Is he going to bite on Kelsey? Um, whether they try to roll a coverage or not, they're trying to throw the ball at 48 right here. And they had you know quite a bit of success with it. So out and up smash. They got the over route coming from the, the field back into the boundary. Kelsey into the flat. Again, easy pitch and catch completion. Now, obviously, this is a pretty easy coaching point. We don't want to take negatives here. This is a five, six yard completion turn to get up field. Do not take a four yard loss here. Not not ideal, obviously, um, but good concept. Just didn't finish the play. Again, motioning out a bunch. That's been a big theme of this drive so far. That's what they've had a lot of success with. So here they are again. We're in bunch one more time. Motion out of it across the formation. And all they're going to do here is, you know, they see pre a pressure look from, from the 49ers, right? You're probably going to get some sort of pressure. They're playing across the line here. So if you're a coach in this type of scenario, what you're thinking is, you know, we got to get to a hot somehow, right? So pitch and catch, they're probably all converting routes here and just taking the five on a second and 14. And for the, for the Niners, they're saying, let's tackle it up and put them in third and long. That's, that's the goal. So, you know, game of cat and mouse here at this point in the game, take the pitch and catch, Valdez Scantling, get what you can. Again, simple stuff. Now I thought the, Chiefs did a pretty good job of protection on this drive. Um, when you have six guys theoretically coming, right, that can be a little nerve wracking for the for the for the offense. So what they're doing is they're in a slide protection here. So Creed Humphrey's working backside. Since he's got a three technique, Trey Smith is going to work front side. Juwan Taylor is theoretically responsible for the end man on the line of scrimmage, but he's going to have to sift back inside. So we call this a sift technique. So he's going to set vertically. If Bosa comes, you're thinking uh, Mahomes is going to be hot off the backer. But if he comes hard, then we're going to have to sift back inside and throw hot off the edge. And that's typically how it works. So what happens is Pacheco, uh, not a great line here, Pacheco is going to swing release here. And what ends up happening is, and this is typical, right? When you're bringing pressure from a defensive perspective, you're coming off the edge, but you have peel responsibility. So you got to peel with the back if you're the end man on the line of scrimmage. And th they kind of know this, right? Good job with the rules. Bosa, Bosa is going to uh, peel and they're five for five across the board, right? Not a bad job from a pass protection standpoint. And obviously Mahomes pulls the trigger quickly, gets an easy completion, boom. You know, you're you're getting back in rhythm on a third and six. So we'll come back to this idea of protection here in a second. But once again, I want to talk about this bunch formation, right? The Chiefs lived in bunch formation, this drive to a high degree of success. And so what you're going to see from them here is essentially a mesh concept out of bunch. So what they do is we got a shallow coming here, a shallow coming here from Rice, Kelsey, you know, typically would have what we call an over the ball route where he's going to go sit over the football, but because he's Travis Kelsey, he can kind of do what he wants. So he, well, he ends up running more of like a stick choice, like a choice route at the top here. And he's just going to turn outside of the leverage. And then outside, you got an out route to kind of pull the corner. And so you're either going to throw the choice to Kelsey, or you're going to throw one of the shallows on mesh. What they do here with Jerick McKinnon is they move him up in the formation. Sean McVay calls this Ali protection, basically running back in the A gap. So if you're seeing some sort of pressure look from the defense, you know, six, seven man pressure, go ahead and get your running back up there in the A gap and, and handle it. Take care of it, right? So here you're going to see the mesh concept sort itself out. Kelsey, instead of running over the ball and running right into that defender, he's going to turn and run kind of that choice route and sit outside. Rasheed Rice um, gets a free release running the mesh concept, you know, easy pitch and catch, right, against this kind of match man situation here. So I want to, again, again talk about the protection here because I think it's really important. What they end up doing is 
and I think this is really smart because typically you'd think, right, let's go ahead and slide this way and have McKinnon step up in the A-gap. We'll go out here, out here, and then Mahomes has got to throw hot. It's off the screen right there, but a kind of a nickel or a safety is coming off the edge. But what they do instead, which I think is really smart, is they slide this way. McKinnon steps up in the opposite A-gap. Uh, Trey Smith fans out. Juwan Taylor fans out to uh, Chase Young. And you got Jarek McKinnon one-on-one -on -one with Fred Warner. Now, I'm not going to talk about holding or not. I just think from a protection schematic protection standpoint, they do a really nice job here. Um, I'm not going to get into arguing, you know, flag or no flag here. But again, you're able to handle a seven-man pressure. Mahomes continues to, to retreat in the pocket to buy himself time and ultimately complete this mesh concept. And that's what I always tell young quarterbacks in, in mesh concepts, right? If you're going to throw a bunch of mesh, your best friend is continuing to gain depth and throw this mesh concept because that's how you buy yourself a little bit extra time. And you'll see it. A lot of air raid guys will do it. A lot of pro guys will do it. They'll just take a couple more steps and work, uh, work for some depth to get this throw off. Again, just a really good protection plan. And I think if that was, you know, maybe the decisive factor in the game was the protection plan, right? You got um, a slide here. This would be like your SIF side or your man side. This would be your zone side. McKinnon stepping up to take on the backer. That's why his presence in this game was such a big deal. Um, the fact that he played was was massive for the Chiefs, right? Completion, bang. Third and six conversion, still playing ball right ahead of the sticks. Now, this isn't technically bench, but might as well be, right? You got a tight end wing-wing alignment, and Kelsey's your move guy. And I just think it's, you know, again, moving out of bunch into two-by-two. Two, you're forcing the defense to declare a strength. You're going to get some sort of coverage ID you know, man or zone indicator. And I have had several play callers tell me this, and I think it's a really important point. A lot of times on first and 10, they're going to call a shot play with an experienced quarterback because they trust that that quarterback is not going to make a bad read. He's just going to check the ball down if nothing's there. And Mahomes is kind of a perfect example of that. He has the maturity to check the ball down. But I like the, I like the, the play design here. What you get is kind of a Yankee-ish concept. Yankee is a a big post with an, a deep over route. And I like how they mix in kind of a Kelsey out and up. So you're drawing a lot of attention to Kelsey off the post and off the over. And then what's going to happen is Pacheco, he's going to work here, chip into the flat, the tight end chip into the flat. So it's a really just clean concept. Um, a shot play on first and 10 and Andy Reed and Matt Nagy, they feel great about calling a shot play on first and 10 on the plus side of the 50 because they know if things break down, if things don't look so good, Mahomes is just going to check it down. You're never going to go broke making a profit. And I know that's a cliche statement, but again, uh, slide protection over here. W good job by Trey Smith in, in his one-on-one -on -one to, you know, hold his own here as long as he can get the check down again, staying ahead of schedule three tight ends. So you're in 13 personnel so naturally, the defense is thinking, you know, maybe they're going to hammer us with a run play like duo or counter or something like that. And then you get in a play action shot situation. And again, just the maturity to check the ball down. You don't have to throw the ball 50 yards in the air. Just check it down. Now it's second and seven. Keep it rolling. All right. Once again, we start in bunch motion out of it. Again, it's just been a winning strategy all game long. Motion out of it to two by two, force them to s declare their strength, take it. And this is just a beautiful design screen to Pacheco. It's really a one-man slip screen. Let's look at, at it from the tight copy. So what you're going to do, again, you're inviting these guys upfield all game long, is you're just going to have your four offensive linemen set on the pass, right? So set to the three, set to the nine set to the two eye, set to the nine. And all we're going to do with Creed Humphrey, you're going to see off screen here, Kelsey's going to come across, sit it down, kind of set somewhat of a pick. And all you're going to do with Creed Humphrey is he's going to release out and lead this screen. Pacheco sorts and works out on a, on a little slip screen, but it's not, we're, we're not releasing everybody, right? It's four for four up front. The free man releases. It's almost like 
QB draw mechanics a little bit. It's it's pretty cool the way they do it, right? So Mahomes drops back. You can see everyone engages. No one else is releasing, right? This is a one-man screen. Creed Humphrey is a freaking phenomenal athlete. He's able to get out in space, covers up the Will linebacker. Now, Fred Warner makes a phenomenal play to run over the top of Kelsey and make this tackle short of the sticks. I mean, he's one of the best in the game, but I love this design. Again, I was assuming Andy Reid's screen game would eventually get going, but it's just such a good design, right? You motion across so you know you have man, and then being able to get out and gobble up the Will linebacker, and he's got to run over the top of, again, Kelsey off the screen coming and sitting down. He's able to run over the top. He eventually makes the play, but just a brilliant design, easy pitch and catch. Now you're in a third and one situation, okay? So third and one, we're in trips with a cut split alignment from the tight end. And this is where Patrick Mahomes is, you know, the best player on the field, right? He's going to set. Again, you're, what you're seeing and what you've seen on this drive is those linebackers have had to have had to bail for depth and really try to gobble up receivers. And Mahomes is just going to step up through that A-gap, right? The two-eye, he's going to work an outside move on Trey Smith. So if you if you look here... You know, from a gap integrity perspective, you've got a three technique and a four eye. He's really supposed to work in that A gap. Boom, here, off the edge, here. When Armstead works an outside move, Mahomes just says, okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take it all day long, right? And so, again, just best player on the field, right? Best player on the field makes a play. Just that's why he's, that's why he's the GOAT right now. There's no doubt about it. So let's go back to kind of the schematic stuff here. Again, Mahomes is just going to make plays, and you got to live with it. So now they're going to go kind of an inside, an insert run play, insert ISO, pretty much man blocking across the board, more or less, um, and then inserting for the will linebacker. So basically here, maybe work a quick double up to the mic. They're going to block out on the three, block out on the nine, insert for the will, just trying to get – it's basically like – almost like a gap scheme or like a man blocking scheme. They're just going to try and get a dive play, get downhill. And again, 49ers have a really good defensive line. They're going to, they're going to hold their own for sure. Pacheco gets what he can always finishes forward. That's what you love about him, but insert ISO, not a bad play, right? After you, after uh, you get a quarterback scramble, you get a little bit of tempo. Now it's second and seven. Okay. So, Here's where they've deviated a little bit from the, the bunch formations, right? Now they've got Kelsey over here in alignment on Bosa. And what they ran earlier in the game is they ran basically like a switch verts concept with a swing. And they ended up hitting this right here because the safety rolled down on Kelsey. So what they're what they're trying to do now, I think, is invite you know, a different, maybe a different form of coverage or show kind of a similar look in the low red zone like they did earlier in the game. And this time they're going to run that patented Andy Reid tight end middle screen, Pacheco on the rail route, inside throw to Kelsey screen, get him downhill. Now, if you look at the tight copy of this, man, this could have scored right here. So you want to engage and work back inside. Trey Smith wants to invite him across the face and throw. Juwan Taylor wants to work back out here. And if if Mahomes is able to get this throw on the on the inside shoulder of Kelsey, or a, yeah, really just a just a cleaner completion here, I think what ends up happening is he's going to take it here and he might score. Because the the catch wasn't clean, the ball wasn't clean, he kind of ends up in the trash a little bit, has to fight across instead of working back vertically. So, you know. Not ideal execution, but again, Kelsey does a great job of getting what he can out of this and, uh, you know, making making some hay, making some yardage. So you got first and goal from the three. Now, everybody was commenting when, you know, when I was watching this, everybody's commenting like 26 seconds left. What's going on here? They seemed kind of laissez-faire with the way they were getting to the line, but hey, they knew what they wanted to do. They get to it. So essentially what they're going to do pretty simple you may have seen it before in the, the world uh, super bowl against the philadelphia eagles that zipper motion into the flat they're going to pull the guard i believe and mahomes is going to go to work he's going to he's going to make it happen so zipper motion the pull mahomes gets out on the edge easy pitch and catch completion versus man no chance they were going to stop this now here's one of the cool things to think about is 
the Kansas City Chiefs are pretty pretty renowned for the way that they run power read in the red zone. So one of the things that they do is when they run power read, they'll leave the defensive end unblocked, they'll pull the guard, they'll fake this handoff, and then bring the running back back here, and, and Mahomes will kind of shovel it to him. So you want to you want to imagine with all the film study Bosa's doing, he's like, I'm going to blow up a shovel pass right here. So he's going to come hard off the edge, trying to blow this thing up and tackle the running back because he doesn't want McKinnon to come back underneath on the shovel pass. Mahomes is able to get out on the edge, pitch and catch, touchdown wide open because you can see that motion causes a switch and there's just nobody out there for him. So this is a masterpiece, right? Nine out of 13 plays are from a bunch formation, zipper motion. I mean, they really pulled out all the stops. And uh, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs and Andy Reid. Once again, world champions, an absolute masterpiece of a drive.